Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Forza Horizon 4 video where today we are taking a look at the McLaren Senna, man. This thing's an absolute beast and I'm super excited to go over all the customizations you can do to it. And then also what I'm looking at doing is taking it out for a top speed run. Now, I know in real life this car is an absolute monster and I've used it once in this game and it was a lot of fun and really, really good to handle and drive as well. So what I'm going to do is go over the customizations for it as in tuning and upgrades. I'm also going to put a sick wrap or design on it. And then we're going to take it out for a top speed run to see how fast this thing can actually go. And just look at the entire car from all these different angles. It's just such an incredible car. I actually heard of one burning up last week, unfortunately, in real life. And that's very, very unfortunate. However, this one is not burned up, so we are going to dive right into it. Now, jumping quickly out of it, I do want to open it up, just see what sort of parts open. And as you can see, the door is open on this one. Oh my god, look at that wing, man. That wing just kind of folds directly up. Almost 90 degrees. Look at that. That's crazy. It's more 45 degrees than anything. But that is sick. You got the three exhaust pipes right at the back there. And I like how the door is open too. The roof basically completely opens with those glass panels. Now, is there a way? Can I open the front at all? Does that front even open in real life or no? I have no idea. I know these flaps on the bottom here go up and down right in the bumper there. What else is new on this car or exciting to see? That just opens up the wing. There is an engine back here, but you can't see it. So basically bordered up. So what we're going to do, we're going to jump right out of this. Go into the customizations, the upgrades, the tunings. Now, I'm not going to tune it myself or anything like that, but we will just see what's available. And basically, everything standard on this thing is available. So, nothing that we're going to do, but there's nothing too, too exciting until we get to the actual aspiration um, or conversion, sorry, and then also maybe the appearance. So, hopefully, we can do something like that. So, on this, we can literally just add a splitter some side splitters there and as well as that tow hitch right in the center definitely don't really like uh i don't know for this car because it is technically a race car that actually kind of suits it for now i'm not going to put it on of course if we decide with the tune that we download that we are going to be putting it on then we will have it this one though can change that big girthy wing still to a pretty big wing but it's the forza one and that doesn't look too bad either However, I do think the standard wing definitely fits the Senna a little bit better. Now, of course, I'd probably redesign the entire back if it was my choice. However, I can't. Needless to say, I've never seen one in real life. So maybe it looks absolutely incredible. I know this front end or the front end just looks outstanding. So let's go ahead. We'll jump out of this. We'll go into the conversion options. You can't change the aspiration, but you can or change the drivetrain. And basically right now it's a rear wheel drive. So we can make it an all wheel drive, which I like the sound of that. So we might be doing that. That might be what we're looking for. Let's jump into find new tunes. We'll find one that actually fits for us. We can max this thing basically all the way out with 999. But what we're looking for, we're looking for the fastest one. Now it does look like the majority of them are relatively the same. You're looking in between 8.5 and 8.8 .8 for a top speed. Don't want to go down to 8.1. I honestly don't really think there's much benefit to going with one over the other for all these ones that are very, very high. So what I'll do is maybe pick this one. They're all all wheel drive, which is sick. I'll pick this one. And if it's not to my liking, if it changes the wing or I put some wheel walls on it, or something like that maybe I'll find a different one instead because I do want that girthy original wing on it and I also don't want the tires to be all messed up either so let's take a quick look we'll dive right out of this go back into Forza Vista and yes they did end up changing that wing for me they put the Forza GT wing on it the tires are perfect no big deal the splitter on the front like I said I'm pretty happy with that that actually doesn't look too bad with the Forza GT wing on it like that looks surprisingly good however we are going to try one other tune and if we can get that wing back on it 
then that's the one we'll go with. If not, we'll just stick it out with this one. It's not really a big deal. So I'm going to go ahead and which one? Pick this one. It's a little bit lighter. I'm happy with that. Maybe that means the carbon fiber wing is put back on the car. That's why it's a little bit lighter. Highly doubt it, but <laughs> whatever uh, floats your boat, you know? <laughs> Anyway, this car is absolutely insane. I'm excited to drive it, bring it to the highway, and just go um, ripping down the roads. As you can see, that wing is put back on it, but the tires have been changed, or the rims at least. I mean, those are not bad wings, or those are not bad wings. Those are not bad rims. However, I definitely like the stock rims better. So we're going to stick with this. I prefer to have this wing over these stock rims so that's why we're going to keep this tune i'm not going to mess around with picking multiple different ones but if you guys do want to download this tune the name was on the left hand side of the screen so make sure to go download them and support them now what i'm going to do is jump into the designs i probably won't pick one of your guys's but we'll take a quick look what is available this is actually very close to the one that was burned uh very recently salamandrin uh, unfortunately that happened to him sorry to hear that dude uh, but the one I really like the one design I really like is the Shmi 150s Tim's he just got one and it's like a satin blue like a metallic satin blue and it looks incredible it's honestly one of the nicest colors I've seen on a Senna now what I'm gonna do actually because I have had it on this thing before I'm gonna go back into this and see if that's available it is right here so I am gonna download this or was it this one at the top? I forget which one it actually was. Anyway, I'll go through that in a minute. I want to show you all the manufacturer colors on this thing. And then, of course, all the other colors that you can do for this. Now, the Senna looks very, very good in almost every single color, to be honest. And there's two tone colors here. So you see the flaps are changing colors on the bottom and the car as well. And then of course you have all the carbon fiber here um, that doesn't change color. Which is fine because black carbon fiber is always incredible. That's a very nice color as well. I like the orange that goes with it. And if you notice the calibers actually change color too which is very cool. That black and red that looks incredible. And then of course you can just go with a straight up like bluish black. Or is that the carbon fiber one? No that's not. I was thinking that was the fully exposed carbon one, but it's not. Of course, you can go with any normal color that you want or any special color. And, of course, previous colors. A gold Senna. That would be pretty sick. <laughs> um, there's also two different colors that you can do. So, paint group one and paint group two. So, the second group would be the calipers and the flaps down at the bottom. Anything on the back? Nothing on the back. So you can make those whatever color you wanted to, which is very, very cool. I thought the carbon fiber, you might be able to change that color in the roof, but you can't. And then, of course, we'd put black windows, everything like that. What we're going to go do is jump into my designs. We're going to put this one back on it, load the design. Hopefully, it's the right color that I'm thinking of. And if it's not, then we'll redo it. But if it is, then we're going to go out onto the road, test this thing out, and put it to its max potential with its top speed. So, jumping into Forza Vista. Now, this is a little bit too baby blue, but I actually really like this color as it sits right here. So, this is the color that we're going to stick with. It's not quite like Schmee's. Schmee's is a little bit more of a matte color rather than a gloss color. But the baby blue on this thing looks ridiculously good. I am okay with the t or the rim color. It's probably not my first pick. I would have definitely went with black. However, with the chrome or uh, the gray, that's okay. Now, unfortunately, it is nighttime. So we're going to head on out of here, away from our house. We'll take a look at the map. Basically, what I want to do is I want to get to this roundabout and go all the way down here because it's enough runway where we can get this thing all the way up to whether it's 200 or 250 miles per hour that's what we're testing out so on the meet or in the meantime i'm gonna drive there i'm gonna kind of be quiet let you listen to the sound of this car because this car is absolutely mean with the sound that it makes unfortunately it's snowy too so this thing just wants to kind of kick out on you sounds really really good 
So once we get on the road here, I'll also go into the cockpit mode so you can see the interior. The interior on this thing is really, really nice. Really modernized as well, which is cool. Very close to the 720S, just a little bit different with that center console screen there. But I love the dash dashboard on this. It's like a little elevated screen that pops in and out of the dashboard. It's a very, very cool. Man, this is not the terrain for a McLaren Senna. I wonder if there's anyone in the world right now who's actually driven their Senna in real life in the snow. That would be very interesting. I know there's actually one guy here in my hometown that owns one as well. And um, he's only driven it like a handful of times, once or twice. I've never seen it yet. But he said next year, once the snow starts to melt, he will definitely be driving it a lot more. There we go. On to the road. Here we go. All right. Enjoy this little drive until we get to the highway. I'm going to be quiet so you can listen to it. And hopefully we don't crash. But this thing is ridiculous with handling and speed already. So here we go. Alright, so we made it to the highway. I think that is the proper way I have to go. Make sure, uh, definitely not the way I have to go. What way do I want? Oh yeah, maybe it is. It looks like there's a massive, like, corner up there. Look at all the dirt on my Senna, man. That sucks. Looks like there's a massive corner up there, but maybe it's more straight than I'm thinking. Uh, but anyway, what I'm going to do, I'm going to launch it from this area. I'm going to kind of give you some revs here. Does this car spit flames? That would be cool. Out of those three exhaust pipes on the back. Yep, it does. There you go. What do you guys think of this car? Do you guys like the Senna? Out of the McLaren Senna and the 720, which one would you prefer? Looks-wise, I think the 720 is a little bit better. But just the freaking fact that you have a Senna would be ridiculous. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to get it up to like 7,000 RPM in between 8,000 and then launch it. Here we go. 240, 250 miles an hour. That is my guess what we're going to get up to. Let's see if that comes true. We're hitting 210, 215. Oh my goodness, I am rewinding that. Two hundred and twenty-five. I wish there was a way to just completely get rid of the traffic on this road for testing this thing out. Oh my goodness, what the heck happened there? Did you just see that? Where'd that car come from? He just hopped right through, and I went right through him. Because that freaked the heck out of me. <laughs> and this car is just getting in front of me. Man, this is not cool. I'm trying to test this car out. Please let me do this properly. That car just kamikaze right in front of me. I'm going to go on the outside here. There we go. What's our speed? 240. 241. Rewinding again. I don't know why I'm hitting the side there. I shouldn't be doing that. 240, 241. Can we get to 242? We're kind of going uphill, so it's very, very hard. Let's go. Come on. You got a little bit more juice. You're not revving out. I think that's it, though. I think that is the most that we can go. What I'm going to do, I'm actually going to turn around here. Is there a safe place to turn around? Yes. Because that was a little bit of an incline. So now we're going to go decline. See if we can get anywhere more than 241 miles per hour. But that is super, super fast from a super cool car. We need the, the traffic just to stay out of the way, please. I need to 
control the car just a little bit better. We're very close already, 240, 241, 242, 243, 44, 45, 46. Come on, a little bit more, a little bit more. It has more juice, man, I know it does. Now we're way back down to 230, so 246 was the highest that we ended up going. I'm not gonna try again, uh, just because I don't think it will work. There we go, just destroying the car, no big deal. But there you go, that is the top speed of the McLaren Senna with one of the highest tunes that you can get for speed. I don't know if the car will go any faster than that. If you guys can get this car faster than 246, let me know down in the comments below. Without cheating, by the way, don't do this ridiculous mod to your car. Um, but if you can do it legitimately, let me know down in the comments how fast you can get the McLaren Senna. This thing is absolutely sick. Make sure you guys pick one up. I believe there was multiple ways to get this car for free in the game. And then as well on the auction house, I think it goes for virtually nothing because everyone got this car for free. So anyway, that's going to wrap it up for me. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to smash that like button. Make sure you guys are subscribed. And just like that, this video is over. I will see you guys on the next one.